All right, welcome to another episode of Real Estate vs. Technology. I'm your host, Norman Kinsey. We have our co-host, Mr. Dan Gandy. Welcome, Dan. Thank you all. Of course, of course. And we have a special guest. Welcome to Real Estate vs. Technology, where you'll get the inside scoop from top producing real estate professionals all around the country, best practices, techniques, and learn about what technology they're using to drive to ensure their success in this world we call real estate. Yes, welcome Melissa to the podcast. Hi, thank you guys. Excited. Of course, of course. I was actually, I have your Instagram behind us and it looks like you're known as the real estate marketing queen. So I can't wait to deep dive into <laughs> some of our techniques for our, for our listeners and our viewers. But uh, the show's about you and your business and we love to deep dive into that. So tell us a little bit about um, basically how long you've been in the business and what made you get into the business? And then like what areas you serve kind of all go together. Okay. So I've been in the business for, it, it will be six years in September. Okay. Um, I actually kind of fell into the business. I was not trying to be a real estate agent. I was trying to sell a house and I was trying to save money on commission. So figured I would go to real estate school, get my license, learn everything I need to know so that I could sell it. Um, and then my first sale was my sister. And from there I was like, okay, this is, can be an awesome part-time gig. And it went from being a part-time gig to what it is now. Wow. Um, yeah. And I worked in New Orleans and surrounding areas. I would go, you know, an hour, hour and a half outside of New Orleans, but um, New Orleans and surrounding areas. Okay. Wow. That's awesome. From a hobby and just like, hey, I could do this to like, I really could do this. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know I had the gift. That's so cool. That's that's mm -hmm. fantastic. That's awesome. So uh, I know Dan has some technical questions for you. Deep dive a little bit more into your marketing techniques and technology you're using. Okay. Sure, sure. Just to start, uh, a couple questions about the business. Um, are you working primarily as buyer's agent, listing agent, hybrid agent? What's uh, what's been the mix over the last? Couple you know, years? so I find that it changes for me. So right now, because so there are so many buyers, I'm doing uh, probably about half and half. Um, it, used, it usually was, I was more of a listing agent, but we have so many buyers in the market that a lot of them are reaching out. Um, so I'm doing both. Um, what I enjoy and I think I'm great at is marketing. Um, but I, I just, before I got on this interview, was racing here from Sean Property. So. <laughs> I love it. Multitasking. <laughs> and then in terms of marketing, let's just, uh, let's kind of change things up a little bit, but we'll, we'll stay to the script. But, um. Let's talk about what's your best lead generation source from a technology standpoint and then maybe traditional marketing. So I would have to say social media. Um, I don't, I've been named like the number one social media realtor and social media in New Orleans. Um, social media is how I grew my business. I, I literally was just putting stuff out there and it, it just reaches so many people that people reach out to me. Um, and I, I do a little bit of everything, though. I do online marketing. I do Facebook. I do. Um, I, I still do postcards. I'm actually wow. going to be doing a postcard um, mail out this week. Um, that brings me listings, um, you know. And I do the networking. I do everything traditionally, and then I try and factor in technology as well. Nice. That's, That's awesome. awesome. Yeah. And then with social media, let's let's because it's grown your business so much. What has been other than you know sharing what you're doing day to day? What has been the biggest uh, conversion factor for social media? Like, is there a specific strategy? Is there some some theme that you're doing? What can you give us some more insight there? Sure. Um, I really try to be authentic. So I think when you show who you really, really are, you connect with people that can relate to you and and think they want to work with you. So I think if you are authentic and also give people knowledge of what they need to know, then they're going to want to work with you. So that's what I do. I, I'm myself, my own little quirky self. And I, you know, I put my humor in it, but I also give people knowledge. Um, and I find that I tend to get people that are similar to me and we enjoy working with each other. Wow. That's, really cool. that's awesome. Is there a way you hyper focus it to that, that greater New Orleans area um specifically to hashtags you use or geotagging yourself or businesses that you uh highlight like how do you keep it local oh yeah so we we do hashtags new orleans agent or new orleans real estate um you know on google you you want to market to to certain so that when people are searching for certain things they actually find you 
um, a, a lot of times people are searching for agent in, in New Orleans and they'll find me. Um, so definitely the hashtags are super important, you know, using online. So when people search, because everybody's looking online now. So yeah. when they search, they should be able to find you. Yeah, totally. We had a, we had a guest on earlier and uh, there was another agent with his exact name. <laughs> so <laughs> people were finding this other person and not him. And uh, oh, man. <laughs> it's that overcoming that. It's, it's mm-hmm. even worse when your name is a celebrity name. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I just uh, kind of to conclude my questions. Um, what type of, what would you say like you could give people from a social media, like what is the one tip you could give from a social media uh, perspective that is something that people should do now? Is it video? Is it, um, is it DMing people with specific, mm-hmm. like highly targeted messages? Like, what do you think is the highest conversion, high, highest ROI for someone to uh, close a deal on social media? I would say to be consistent and use video. Uh, so that's two really. Um, video is nice. super powerful. It, it reaches so many people. And for whatever reason, people prefer to see a video. So if you can, even if it's, it doesn't even have to be that great. If you can do video content, it's going to catch people's attention and do it consistently. So you should be posting something every day so that your name's out there. Even if you only have a few followers now, eventually it will grow, but you have to be consistent to get yourself there. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. We have your Instagram here and it just, it looks great. I love the colors. Thank you. Ending almost 10,000 followers. So good job. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Um, all right, so let's talk about your business. So you've been in the business now for about six years. What is your goal and where do you see your business in the next five? Um, so I recently got my broker's license um, and last year partnered up with two other agents and opened our own brokerage. Wow. Um, so now I'm wanting to move into sort of mentoring other agents. We, we have, it's a group of 11 now, so we want to, to grow that. And I want to sort of move into that role more and not just focus on myself, but actually focus on growing and being a mentor to other real estate agents. Wow. Yeah. That, that's, that's, that's my goal. It's yeah. a great way to, to give back and we've already had success. And now let's come back and, and give it because, you know, you can't take it with you. So you might as well just share it, share the wealth, knowledge and what have you. Share other. it and, and just kind of roll to where it's not, it becomes a business and it's not just being a real estate agent, but becomes a business. Yeah. Um, so that's what I'm looking for. I love that. I love that. So before we wrap up the show, I know we have a couple of questions. I know Dan, you have one and I have a couple last for you as well. Yeah. I think you kind of touched on it with the mentoring and, uh, being able to teach other agents, but, um, what is the biggest piece of advice or the one thing you would tell real estate agents if they were licensed today, never been in the business, they're new and fresh. What would you say is the best advice that they could take with them throughout their whole career? I would say you have to be resilient in this business. So um, it's not easy. It's not as easy as it looks. It, it, it deals fall apart. You're dealing with personalities. There's a lot that goes on behind the scenes. Yeah. And so what do they, I don't know what the statistics are, but a lot of realtors drop out their first year or within their first five years. So if you're not resilient, you're not going to last. But if you just have that attitude that no matter what, I'm going to keep at it, eventually you'll be successful. So true. So yeah. what was the stats that said that 90% of the business is done by the top 10% as far mm-hmm. as volume and then the rest kind of do a deal here or do a deal there. Right. I think you need like three months worth of savings just to have a nest egg. So it's like you said, deal falls apart, like you have the cash. So right. you don't feel so strapped that you're going to put yourself into debt trying to, trying yes. to win the game. Um, awesome. Well, any books or any podcast or anything that you have read over the years that's kept you going or gave you some good tips? Oh, yeah. I've got two that we're actually reading as an office, and I've read them before. Um, The Go-Giver, I can't think of the author offhand, but that basically talks about how you want to attract your business, not run and chase after business, but attract it. And um, Ninja Selling, which kind of has the same kind of, I don't know, theme, but really, really just putting yourself on a different level and so that business comes to you. That's huge. I actually had the go-giver over there. I was like, oh, I wish I had it to pull it up really quick. But <laughs> I that book. And even though those stories are kind of fiction, 
They're absolutely just amazing. Love that. Right. Is that you, Norm? Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was coming in randomly. Uh, <laughs> see, that's why I got on my computer. I knew that would happen. <laughs> <laughs> and this is real. <laughs> real life. Yeah. <laughs> real life. Calls come in. <laughs> uh, so um, what the part of the show where the floor is yours. So is there anything that you want to go ahead and put out there, maybe about your brokerage or, mm -hmm. um, you know, about how maybe they could reach you? So if someone yeah. wants to be coached by you, I mean, go ahead. Yeah, I, I would say um, our website is nolahome.com. Check us out, you know, if you're looking to buy real estate in the New Orleans area or if you're just an uh, agent in another city and want to connect. I'm, I'm sorry. It's real life back here. Um, if you want to connect, um, definitely reach out to me. And my Instagram is Melissa underscore McClendon. Um, you know, I'm always looking to connect. So awesome. You find me there. Awesome. Well, Melissa, we appreciate you being on the short, short, sweet to the point. And uh, it was a pleasure having you on. Yeah, it was. I, I had a great time. Thank you. Awesome, awesome, Dan. Thanks for co-hosting. We appreciate you. Sure. And uh, thank you, Dan. Thanks, yeah, thanks to all our listeners and viewers. It's the goal here to just be able to give back, so you can take something from these episodes to apply to your business to have more massive success. And we will see you on the next one. Hope you found value. If you like the episode, give it a thumbs up. Comment below with what you learned. And if you go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell, you'll be notified for new podcast episodes coming out. Now, I want to go ahead and show you. If you see here on your screen, you can click join our Facebook group page and you can go ahead and be a member of our community page. We love to be able to share what type of technology you're using on this page. And also, if you want to go ahead and do some networking all across the country, you can go ahead and network on this Facebook group page. If you're a real estate professional, focus on a specific niche, whether it's a buyer specific type, seller specific type, or a specific area, we would love to hear your story and how are you growing and scaling your business using technology to focus on that demographic. And if you're a technology owner, have a technology you want to share, and you want to be featured on Real Estate vs. Technology, the podcast, all you have to go ahead and do is send us an email at re vs. tech talk at gmail.com and we'll see you on the next one.